The mixer is the other major part of a scratch DJ setup. So whilst your first hand is on the record, your second hand is on the mixer's crossfader. So let's take a closer look. I mainly use a Rain TTM57, but for the purpose of this overview, I'm going to show you a more basic scratch mixer, the DJ Tech DIF1S, just to keep things simple. Other more expensive mixers will have additional features, but let's look at the essentials. This is a two channel mixer, which is all you really need for scratching. So one channel's for your turntable scratch sounds, and the other's for a music source from another turntable or a line in. The settings on this side of the mixer relate to this turntable, and the settings on this side are for your other turntable if you have one, or for a line in from your iPod or other MP3 player. The crossfader is the most important part because this cuts the sound off and on. The crossfader curve adjustment lets you change how sharp or smooth the sound cuts in. So at the moment I've got it set to its sharpest setting so the sound will cut in almost instantly. So I only have to move the crossfader a small amount before the sound cuts in. If I change it to a smooth fade, you can hear how it's a gradual cut-in. For scratching, we normally have it set on the sharpest cut-in possible. The reverse or hamster switch reverses these channels. So the regular setting cuts the sound in from the turntable this way, When it's reversed, it cuts in this way. The up faders control the volume of each turntable or channel. You can also use these for scratching. The EQ settings let you adjust the highs, mids and lows. Finally, you have the volume control for the headphone cue and the master output. The front panel allows you to plug in your headphones so you can cue up sounds. There's also a mic input. The rear panel features all of the inputs and outputs that allow you to connect your turntables, line in, DVS like Serato or Tractor if you're using one, ample speakers, and finally the power. So those are the main elements of a scratch mixer that you'll be using. It's also worth noting that there are basically two main types of mixer you can use for scratching. The first is a non-DVS mixer, like this DJ Tech. So this means that if you wish to scratch with MP3s using a digital vinyl system like Serato or Tractor, you will need an extra DVS hardware interface which is simply a box that connects to the mixer. The second type is a mixer with integrated DVS like this Rain TTM57. The DVS interface is built into the mixer which you can connect directly to your laptop via a USB cable so you can control the DVS software with a timecode record. Don't worry too much about this at the moment, I'll cover DVS in a different video.